Hi everyone, this is Camille with PMU Sign. Today I'm going to show you how to use one of our template forms that are in your account already. Um, this will apply to anyone who maybe is just starting out in the industry and you don't have your own forms, or if you are willing to use other forms because you're not necessarily happy with your own, we have provided some general forms as well as specific forms for permanent makeup. So what you're going to do, and of course I've logged in here, I'm just on my dashboard. You're gonna go ahead and go to forms and then go to my forms. And these templates are already in every single person's account, so as soon as you register, you'll see these here. So up here on the right, it says templates. You're just going to simply click on that. And if you click on this drop-down box, so you can see here under general, we have uh, quite a few different examples for you. And this was taken from other people in the industry and forms that they use, but of course we made them generic. And then under microblading specifically, there is a disclosure and then consent and release as well. So I do urge you to look through these and see if it's something that you can use. And as always, if for any reason you have any trouble, please email us and we're happy to customize a form for you. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and just do the consent and release under microblading. And I'm going to click copy template. Okay, so any form that's under template will automatically have our logo, PMU sign, as the default. Of course, you're going to want to change this as well as all the other general branding that's on here, if any. Um, that way, it has your own information on it. And you can change the form name. The form name is just for you. It's not what your client is going to see. It's just so when you go to your forms, you can see which one it is. And you can always add a description as well. There's another video where we do go over what next form means. So you can always link this to another form so that your client can fill out an additional form when you send them the link. So for the logo, I'm going to go ahead and again change this to my branding. So I'm going to upload a file. And we did mention this in another video, but the um, logo does have to be 300 by 300 or less um, as far as the dimension goes. The reason for this is if it's too big, it will take up most of the page. We want the flow to look really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my logo here, and I'm scrolling down. You can see the dimensions are 300 by 77, so that's within that 300 by 300 range. I'm going to click open. So there you go. So now my logo will be here. And I'm going to do, I'm just going to say test up here so I know which one it is. So consent and release agreement, um, photography release. And again, you want to make sure you guys change all of the generic branding that we've put on here. So Beauty Co. LLC is just generic. You will want to add your business name. So how you do that is you go up to the right hand corner and you hover over this edit link and you click on it. And then it will load all the content. So let's say for me, for example, I'll say Precision Microblading LLC. Scroll down. Everything looks good. Click Save. Okay, and then for this as well, you're going to click on that. And again, make sure you change all the branding. So I'm going to say Precision Microblading LLC, and then one more right here. Okay, and then I'm going to click Save. And that looks like it's it as far as the branding goes. So if everything looks good, you can go ahead and save it. Now let's say you want one more box or anything else here. Let's say you need another um, signature box and we did a, um, a video on how to create a customized form so please make sure that you review that so you can understand how our drop down uh, features work. But let's say you want to add a signature so you can completely customize this. You can add new things as well so it makes it really easy for you guys. Here's a, a signature box. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and just show you guys what this looks like. Okay, so choose an identifying text field. Uh, we did, again, another video on this, but this just means it's a text field that your um, client's forms are going to be organized by when you click on your completed forms. 
and it's only going to allow you what identifiers you have chosen in the form. So sign operator, this will just be the person that signed it. Click save and you can see at the bottom left hand corner it's saving. Okay, so this form is microblading consent and release agreement test. So I'm going to go to forms and go to my forms. Okay, and then here it is. So of, of course you can see I have no submissions. It's a brand new form. Once I start getting submissions and sending out the link or having my clients fill it out in person, you'll see the little yellow number next to it. But I'm going to go ahead and click down here and click view form. Okay, perfect. So you can see my new logo is here and then all the branding has been updated. It says Precision Microblading LLC. Everything looks good. You can see the new signature box that I added down here. And this is the uh, form that you would send out to your clients or have them fill out in person.